Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. We're going to tap into your energy and see how your person views you at this current time. Whether you are with your person or in separation, let's find out what they really think about you. From their emotional perspective as well as their mental perspective too, it is a general reading. This is their perspective. It doesn't make it true. This is just their perception of you and how they feel and think of you, all right? It is a general, so be mindful of that. Don't take it to heart, and don't rely on tarot to live your life. You are the magician. You can tap in so you find out everything you need to know uh, when, you, when you're solid in your beliefs, but then you won't second guess what spirit is showing you, all right? So let's see what your person is thinking about you. How do they view you? Spirit, how does Scorpio's person view Scorpios? Whether they are with them or away from them. How does Scorpio's person view Scorpios? Spirit, show me. The Scorpio's highest good. How does Scorpio's person view Scorpios? So let's see. Let's see how Scorpio's person views Scorpios. Okay, so... <coughs> Well, they view you as the empress here. <laughs> That's nice, huh? They view you as someone here who is maybe high maintenance. They could be saying that you're high maintenance. You have high requirements. You have integrity. You have morals. You have values here. This knight of swords here. And you got the knight of swords. They could be saying that you're very, very aggressive. <laughs> They could be saying that you don't take no smoke from, off of them. They could be saying that you stand up for yourself and that you ain't no joke and you ain't going to take play no games with this knight of sword. They say you don't play no games. They say you, you're very demanding, you're very authoritative, and you take action and they, and, and they don't want the smoke, god dang it. <laughs> so somebody here could be feeling very, very intimidated by you too with the five of pentacles. They could be feeling like they're not your match here. Somebody could be feeling like they can't they can't match you. They can't handle you. They could very well be saying that you're too much for them, Scorpio, or you're very, very intimidating to them, all right? They could be saying you're very, very abundant and you make them feel like they ain't got enough to be with you. See, they go to Seven of Pentacles here too. So it's almost like somebody is taking stock of you. They're observing you. This is somebody here who looks at you like like you take your time uh uh you 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 know what i'm saying here it's like it's like you know what you want uh, there is somebody feels like you are a manifesting manifester here somebody feels like you're fertile where, where things that that you uh sow that things grow in your life here too they say that you bring a lot of emotional happiness that you are happy Somebody realizes that you're very, very happy and content here. And they could also be saying that you bring a lot of happiness to them too. Somebody could be feeling like, let's see, could be a cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. What is Scorpio's, how does Scorpio's person view Scorpio? Mm, like I said, they say you don't play no MNF and games. With that Queen of Swords crown, the Queen of Swords is the Knight of Swords. They say you don't play no games and that you will cut somebody out if they betray you. So they could be saying that you are no nonsense here, that you're not going to put up with this non-committal energy, the Knight of Wands in the reverse here. So somebody realizes that you're too good for them, Scorpio. That's what I feel like. They may feel like you're too good for them, but somebody here is still holding on to you. I feel like they're still holding on to you, Scorpio. I feel like you done cut somebody out your life because they were playing games and somebody is viewing you as somebody here who has morals, who do not have to settle for the bare minimums. You don't have to settle for that. They Somebody look at you like you you the real deal and you don't play no games, Scorpio. That's what it is. They say you are the real deal and you don't play no games. Four swords. So somebody may be looking at you totally pulling all the way back from them because of them. 
And they go to seven of swords. Woo, four swords, seven of swords. They say you be knowing shit, Scorpio. See? And somebody, somebody know. They feel like they feel like they've done you wrong and they know that you know. So they say it's justified. They understand why you had to get rid of them because they were not doing right here. See? Could be a Libra here too, Scorpios. Wow. That's them, Scorpio. You got all these swords. Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords. Night of swords. I feel like somebody say you are cold towards them now, Scorpio, because of what they did. Somebody say that you're cold and detached from them because you don't trust them now. Because the type of energy they were bringing in your life you're, it's beneath you. And therefore, you really cut them out of your life. You probably cut them with your words, with the truth. But somebody realize, But somebody likes that, though, with the Nine of Cups. They understand. So like I say, it's not a turn off. It's really like a uh, admiration here, a newfound perspective, a newfound respect. So they view you respectfully here because I feel like other people let this person get away with the Knight of Wands energy. But I feel like you put your foot down and you set some rules. And when you realize that they were not going to give you what you deserve, you cut them out and they respect you for that. They respect you for that. See, they go to Seven of Swords again. See, they know you don't play that. Somebody want to come back and apologize. So I feel like somebody know that. I feel like somebody know that you. Now, I feel like it is an honor to have you, but I don't feel like it's an honor to have you if they're not going to change. So what, what is Scorpio's person? How does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in this Empress energy? Clarify the Empress. The Empress, see? <laughs> The Queen of Swords, God dang it. They say because you don't play that shit, Scorpio. That's what they say. And they can't help but to respect you too, Scorpio. See? Eight of Cups. See? They say you don't walk away emotionally and now you're cold towards them because they came wrong. And so, see, Scorpio, that's what it is. <laughs> They're viewing you as somebody here who is in control of your emotions and your life. And when you realize that, they say a, 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 a lady never has to be told to leave. A lady ain't going to sit in there till they turn the lights on and tell you you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. No, a lady knows when to leave. And so, believe it or not, they respect you for that. They do because somebody know that they shit wasn't together. See? Ooh, and not only did you leave them, they go to death card here. See? <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, they thinking, I'm talking about they, they, they ain't thinking nothing wrong about you, though. They not. Why is this Knight of Swords here? How does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in this Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? They look at you as very, very action, <laughs> the aggressive. If, if something ain't right, they know that you're going to see. Three of Swords here, see? Somebody know that if they do anything wrong that's going to hurt you, you're going to check their ass, the Scorpio, see? Somebody know that you are aggressive. They say you're going to put them hands. <laughs> they say they know that you're going to put them hands on them, so they're going to have to <laughs> tread lightly. <laughs> oh, I feel like you'd have been up close and personal with them. I feel like you'd have been all up in their grill. I feel like you have not backed down here, and they respect you for it. So like I said here, they have a lot of re, uh, newfound respect for you, but I feel like this may be keeping them away, too, if they're not coming away. See? I saw the, the food car. They go to food car here. See? Now, I feel like this person wants to try again with you because somebody know you the real deal here. See? And they go to King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. See? So, I feel like now somebody wants to come back in with something real now. Could be an earth sign here, but there they go in the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past, a soulmate. Somebody here who you had to let go because they was full of that mess. It was one-sided here. And this is how they view you. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles, it's the Seven of Swords, see? Somebody realizing that they can't get away with nothing. But I also feel like they're taking stock that they see why you pulled all the way back. They see why you're not engaging. They see why a lot of things. Somebody may have thought that maybe you was going to come back, but I feel like somebody's taking stock 
and they're realizing that maybe they have missed they're going to miss out on an opportunity if they don't get busy here because of their own ways with the seven of swords so now you got the four of swords in the reverse and the four of cups in the reverse because i feel like somebody's going to do something here scorpio that, that maybe they didn't didn't, didn't think that they was going to end up doing because they go to freaking emperor see <laughs> Oh, shit, it's almost like somebody going to come crawling back to you, Scorpio, is what I feel like. Well, uh, how does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in this Ten of Swords? Why is this Ten of Swords? And maybe they did this to you. I feel like it was a, a horrible ending, a bad, nasty ending. Maybe you cussed them out real bad here with the Knight of Swords. Some of y'all may have gotten physical. <laughs> y'all may have laid hands is what I feel like you may have laid hands. Somebody may have thought that they was Rod, Rod, uh, Rodriguez, Rico, Rod, Suave, and the Knight of Wands energy, and they realized that they couldn't finesse you, that they wasn't going to, you know, manipulate you intimately here. What's up with this Ten of Swords? How does Scorpio's person view Scorpio and the Ten of Swords? Mm. Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. So it's almost like somebody's feeling like they know that they robbed you of something that you sh that you deserved here, see? And there is the five of cups here. Now, either they're regretting it or they're feeling you as you're regretting it, but I feel like they're regretting it because they did the ten of swords. Somebody regrets, they view you, they regret, um, they regret because they view the connection as a lot of regret, a lot of regret, a lot of missed opportunity, a lot of things that was left unsaid because of a lot of secret things that maybe this person was hiding here. Somebody may be regret hiding a lot of things from you or making it seems like, you know, something going on here. I feel like somebody regrets that they see you moving on with your life with this chariot card, that you're not stuck with them because somebody, this person may be used to people putting up with them, especially as a king of pentacles. It could have been somebody here who was well, you know, emperor, Somebody here is used to controlling things, but they found a situation where they couldn't manipulate you and control you because they see how strong you are, how headstrong you are, and how you don't play no freaking games. And now they actually see you moving on. What's up with this Queen of Swords? How does Scorpio's person view Scorpio? Queen of Swords again. Queen of Swords. Somebody feels like you're a... Uh, um, what's up with this Queen of Swords? Why do they view Scorpio and this Queen of Swords? Very strong, very demanding here. Temperance card here. Somebody feels like you do bring a lot of balance to them by standing up to them. Because like I said, I feel like somebody here is used to getting their way and doing what they want to do. But I feel like somebody's realizing they can't do this with you because you stand up for yourself. But I also feel like somebody here, like I feel like somebody feels like you bring them balance. Because like I said, if somebody's used to getting their way, they're not, somebody is not used to no men around them. They're used to, they, they used to yes people around them because of their position here, but you're not like them. Not only do you stand up for yourself, you call it out like it's real. You call, you tell the truth. And they're used to people who kissing up and kissing their asses for what they have, but not you. You're not effed up about that. You stand in your truth here. See, it's a soul made to a cup. See, they feel the strong connection with you. See, they feel the strong connection with you, Scorpio. See, don't you know that by you standing up for yourself and doing all those things, it makes this person look at you for more than what you are. They somebody see you as marriage material now. Somebody don't... See, I feel like somebody is looking at the bigger picture now. Somebody is thinking about broadening their horizons, like coming together and building something. And they realize that all the qualities that you have, they need that on their team. They don't need no pushovers here. They need somebody here. Seven of, seven of cups. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of illusions and a lot of fantasies about you, especially in this two of cups energy. They can't seem to get over you, Scorpio. And they're not thinking nothing bad. I feel like this is somebody here who messed up and missed the opportunity. And now they're having to go back and look at things because they can't get over you. What does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in the Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the King of Wands. See? 
If somebody here, they want to come pursue you. They got a lot of passion. You, 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 you ignite their passion in them. You make them want to get out there and do something here. Like, I feel like you are challenged. I feel like you are a firecracker, but you are a challenge to them. You make them move. You, you make them humble. You humble them. It's what I feel like. And I feel like don't nobody do that. They never met anybody as powerful as you and as strong as you with the strength card because I feel like you don't back down. Could be a Leo here, but that's exactly what somebody says that they need in their life. Four ones. See, they're coming back in. They're trying to. They see you as somebody here who uh, is very, very close to them. They see themselves building or, or, or you know, they want the harmony back. They don't want you mad at them, you know, because they can't get nowhere with you if you're in that Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords energy. It's like you got you, you heavily guarded, you protected, and you don't want no mess. Don't start none, it won't be none, is what I feel. And they get it now. See, because they got that Ten of Swords here. See, it's almost like somebody wants to try to build your trust back here because they already know that they done lost. Because somebody know that they done lost your trust because you. They can't put nothing over on you. You reading they as you meet, reading them their rights, and they already know that whatever you tell them, it's going to be the truth here. And there go the five of ones. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fuss and fight. They don't want to compete with you. Because I feel like this has been somebody here who tried to have an added advantage, but they realized they was dealing with a freaking empress because they thought that they was all of that as the emperor. But they realized not, not only do they got a freaking empress, but they got a cold, blooded, hey. Uh, 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 with that queen of swords but like i say like i feel like if you guys have not been together with this four swords somebody is being rejuvenated once again they go to ace of wands so how they view you is that they've been away from you for far too long they get it now they've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of observing a lot of um soul searching a lot of inward respect uh, could be just staying off to themselves but like I say here, they see you differently here too. Four of Pentacles, but they feel like you're going to hold back from them. Somebody feels like you're holding back from them. You're holding back from giving them what they want. And what they want is you. <laughs> you know they want you, girl, with that Ace of Wands. Stop it. <laughs> see, there go the sun car. See, they say, yeah, I know you don't want to come off all that good Scorpio love, but you my happiness here. <laughs> Oh, they say you make them so happy. They realize that it's that, that you hold them back and that there is an opportunity that maybe they won't get back in. See, five of cup, five of pentacles. See, see, somebody's meeting somebody here. Somebody that met they match with you is what I feel like here. And I feel like somebody's realizing that they cannot uh, carn you. They can't be little. They can't take advantage of you. And if they do, you're going to catch them every time. But why? Why even bother here? And this could just be somebody here who was trying to do the bare minimums but get everything. But the Seven of Swords, I feel like they are found out. But at the same time, I feel like somebody don't want to do this either. How does Scorpio's person view Scorpio in the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? See? The Queen of Wands because they know you. They they want you. Like I say, they are attracted to you. You got the King of Wands. Didn't I see the King of Wands here? Well, you got that Ace of Wands here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there they go. The king of wands by the nine of the cup. That's what I thought. <laughs> so they know that you're holding back from them, Scorpio. They know it. They already know it, Scorpio. But they feel like you're not being honest because they said it that you know what they want. <laughs> Knight of wands, god dang. But they view you as somebody here that know what they want, but they're not going to get it unless they come in here and be prepared to do for this connection like they, it's almost like they already know that they're not going to get away with nothing with you, Scorpio. They know that if they want something, they're going to have to give something because they know you ain't going and you ain't backing down. And they know that everything that you're asking for, you deserve, okay? <laughs> Why do they view Scorpio in the seven of swords energy here? Like I said, they know you, they know you know that they want you and that they are turned on by you and attracted to you. But they also know that they can't come around you and no knight of wands energy for nothing. And they go to temperance card. Like I said, this person wants to come back together with you they want to reconcile with you scorpio but they know that ain't nothing happening unless you say so because they're going to hang man here and for some of y'all this person's hoping that you don't want to stay single because they trying to come get you scorpio somebody realizes that you can get anybody that you want to scorpio they realize that you are that you are asset you a good look somebody realizing that you got it going on just like them okay and they don't want you to be with nobody else so 
somebody's going to come in here. Somebody's going to break the ice. And they're going to be the bigger person here because they know you ain't coming back, Scorpio. They know you said what you said and you stand on it. They say they know that you're standing uh, uh, ten toes down on what you said. If they don't come back in here to your life right, then they don't need to come at all. So whoever you put your foot down with, oh, yeah, they believe you, baby. And, yes, they do want you. And, yes, they're coming correct. All right? So this is how your person views you, Scorpio. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.